Read their names in no particular order. Hang on, girls, I know what you're feeling. <laughs> Number one is Miss Texas. Number two is Miss Kentucky. And the third lucky girl is Miss Vermont. Only two more to go. Number four is Miss Idaho. And number five, Miss North Dakota. Congratulations, girls, and good luck to all five of you. There they are, our five finalists. One of these girls will be Miss Teen USA. Miss Texas. Christy Dawn. I'll shuffle these up for you. Oops, I knocked the judge out. Ready, I'm goofing up. You want to pick again? No. Or do you want to go for what's behind curtain number two? <laughs> no, this is fine. Okay. Patrick St. Clair. You have chosen Judge Patrick St. Clair. All right. Patrick would like to know. You obviously know what it takes to be attractive. What, in your view, makes a person ugly? Ugly? When they're hateful to other people. I believe the most beautiful thing about a beautiful person is when they're good to others and helpful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Texas. Miss Kentucky, step forward and uh, I'll let you choose a judge. You've chosen Judge Wapner. Uh, you've chosen Richard Lawrence. Richard Lawrence would like to know. Before making a phone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say? No, I think spontaneous conversation is the most enjoyable. And when you practice things too much, they tend to, to lose their specialness. Like when we had rehearsal for this, I didn't practice being in the top five hardly at all, and right now it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Thank you. Miss Vermont, Tara, you get to choose a, a judge. You've chosen Judge Reinhold. Judge, <laughs> Judge, uh, you've chosen Judge Jill Whelan. Jill? spent a number of months as Miss Vermont. Tell us some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages to having this celebrity status. Um, in the past year so far, I can't think of any disadvantages to being Miss Vermont. Vermont is the best place to live. I couldn't think of anywhere else to live. It's just the greatest. Um, being Miss Vermont has given me the opportunity just to be me and to show everyone you know, how proud I am. And the disadvantages, well, there are none. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kara. Thank you, Miss Vermont. Miss Idaho, you're next. You get to choose a judge. Okay, you've chosen Judge Ren Rehnquist. Uh, they're not here. You've chosen Frank Decopolis. Frank? Hi. Um, if you could change anything about your life so far, what would it be? My life has been very happy. I think um, if I could change one thing, it would be that I could have given my parents as much as they've given me. They've sacrificed everything for me. And I think that um, maybe one day when I hopefully uh, make all my dreams come true, I can give back to them all that they've given me. They're sitting right over there, and it's Dad's birthday, so I'd like to wish him happy birthday. Very nice. Happy birthday. Thank you. And finally, Heidi, you get, you get a whole bunch of judges to choose from. Well, Miguel Nunez. Miguel Nunez. From your growing up, what has, been, what has proven to be the most difficult obstacle you've had to overcome? Um, 
probably having to follow every rule, I guess, um, that was set by school or whatnot. I guess I'm a very free spirit. I'm a very free-spirited person, and when you have to do something and it's, it's confined and it's, it's all done like that, that was probably the greatest obstacle, and it made me procrastinate and whatnot, <laughs> so probably that. Okay, thank you. Take a position back over there, Miss North Dakota. Thank you all, judges, for your questions. They were good questions and good answers, finalists. There's only 